And a Detroit judge explodes in anger after a courtroom outburst. Be quiet. Take him back. Take him out. Take him out now. No. Take him out. They don't say don't mess with Judge Vonda Evans for nothing. Just that she just was not going to have it after a defendant in a rape case today swore at her in the courtroom. I have never heard a judge react this yeah. way. So let's get right to Jermont Terry. He is live with a video you definitely have to see. Jermont. Karen, it's not every day you hear the F-bomb dropped multiple times inside the courtroom, and most of that was done by the judge, but that happened today here at the Frank Murphy Hall of Justice. The defendant, Anthony Thornton, decided on a bench trial, and the outspoken judge, Ravonda Evans, gave him a mouthful when he did not like the verdict she was handing down. On trial for rape, Anthony Thornton takes the stand in his defense. Yes, it was me and her had consensual sex. Oh, you had consensual sex. Okay. I asked her. Okay. After hearing the evidence, Judge Vonda Evans was in the middle of giving her verdict, but Thornton kept talking. See, when you tell one lie, you got to remember the hundred of lies that you told to cover that lie up. That wasn't no lie. Be quiet and don't talk in my courtroom. The judge kicks Thornton out, and that's when things heat up. I'm innocent. Be quiet. Take him back. Right. Take him out. Right. Take him out now. <laughs> The judge continues her verdict without Thornton present. And the court is going to so find the defendant guilty beyond the reasonable doubt as to count one and count two criminal sexual conduct. Judge Evans then orders Thornton to return, and she does not miss words. Mr. Thornton, I'm going to address with the comment that you made. It was disrespectful for you. I'm sorry. To say I'm sorry. me. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Really sorry. Thornton offers multiple apologies, but it's but too I, late. You, you were out of line? Yes, I was, and I'm sorry. I, all I've been saying is how things are. I'm you. saying what you said to this court. And I apologize deeply because you've been treating me fair. I have and never been you. anything but respectful to you. And for you to say F me in my courtroom was yeah. unacceptable. Yes, I'm deeply sorry. Just upset because I didn't do it. I'm deeply sorry. Take it back. Now, in the end, the judge did find Thornton guilty of two counts of criminal sexual conduct, but she did not find him guilty of kidnapping and unlawful imprisonment. Most definitely not your usual day in court today. Reporting live outside the Frank Murphy Hall of Justice, Jermont Terry, Local 4. What a scene, Jermont, in that courtroom. Okay, so let's get back to the case at hand. It was DNA evidence, right, that led to the conviction? Yeah, you're exactly right, Karen. You know, uh, Thornton actually gave that consent for the DNA to be taken in the middle of the interview, and it was through the uh, rape kits that they uh, found him linked to multiple rapes in the, the Detroit area dating back seven years. So it was the rape kits that essentially got him in this courtroom today. All right, thank you very much, Jermont. And we have posted the uncut video of the courtroom outburst on clickondetroit.com, and it is being shared numerous times already. You can find it right in the top story section of the homepage.